As federal authorities seize increasing amounts of drugs such as fentanyl and methamphetamine through ports of entry, towns across the southern border are being forced to combat the effects of fentanyl on a local level. Cronkite News reporter John Cardinelli visited two of them who are tackling the problem in different ways. John? We traveled to San Luis near Yuma and also to Nogales, Arizona to speak with law enforcement officials there and learn more about what they're specifically dealing with. Uh, dealing with a lot of clandestinely made uh, fentanyl, uh, they're, they're the M30 pills is what they call them. Lieutenant Marco Santana with the San Luis Police Department knows firsthand the impact fentanyl is having in his community. You know, 2019, uh, we've had, uh, uh, it, it's a little bit, there's more, been more issues actually, and we've got about 15 non-accidental overdoses. Uh, one person passed away this year. Fentanyl, a synthetic opioid that's 80 to 100 times stronger than morphine, is being intercepted at higher rates through Arizona's ports of entry. Narcan, which reverses opioid overdoses, has saved 14 lives in San Luis since the beginning of the year. Every sworn uh, member of, of this uh, police department is trained in uh, how to use the Narcan. So every officer within our department has two canisters or two uh, applications of spray. While in San Luis, they've seen a slight uptick in the use of fentanyl, 323 miles away in Nogales, Sheriff Tony Estrada says his department is trying to prevent Santa Cruz County from being used as a fentanyl pipe. Pipeline. He says they're understaffed, leaving much of the drug seizing operations up to federal authorities. Including myself, we're 38. Uh, yeah, we're, we're below the uh, Bureau of Statistics recommendation of 2.5 per thousand. Um, at 2.5, we should have over 60 deputies. We have 38. At the low end, at 1.5, we should have 41. We're 38. And that's remarkable uh, because uh, it's a very robust, active community with a lot of drugs coming through here and families on both sides of the border for generations have been involved in facilitating the drugs that we don't have more personnel. As you can see here in Nogales, they've put up concertina wire to try and stop people from jumping the fence as well as transporting drugs. However, Sheriff Estrada believes that this will not stop the flow of drugs from coming into the U.S. There have been over 100 drug tunnels that have been discovered here. Why? Because the cartels will find a way and the wall is not going to stop them. Corporal Oscar Mesta with the Nogales PD says their strategy for combating the flow of fentanyl is actually some good old-fashioned police work. We started a new CAT team, which is Community Action Team, and we go out, you know, door to door, talk to them. We take care of the small things because how do you get information? How do you actually go and be proactive? You make contact with the citizens. They're your eyes and ears out there. They tell you, hey, they're using this house for this. That vehicle is being used for this. To Lieutenant Santana, a similar community-involved task force will launch February 28th in San Luis, Arizona. The hope is that by getting residents involved, the number of overdoses will go down. In the Broadcast Center, John Cardinelli, Cronkite News.